This is Jesse Morrill, college counselor at Liberty Common High School. In this video, I'm going to go over how to research careers using your Naviance account, including adding careers to your list and using the interest inventories that are available. Remember that when you log in, you're going to use your uh, PowerSchool username and password. If you don't know those numbers, come and see me or see somebody in the front office and we can get that information to you so you're able to log in. Once you're logged in, you're going to see this welcome screen, and we've got a, several tabs up here on top. We're going to click on careers here for the career portion. And there are a few ways to actually research careers uh, using your Naviance account. One way we're going to start with is using the interest inventories uh, to kind of get yourself started. So there's a couple different interest inventories that you can take. One is this career interest profiler here on the right. And what you're going to get here is you'll you'll get what's called a uh, Ryasek code and or a Holland code and you can take a look at at uh, how it how it interprets your results based on how you answered a number of questions so what we're looking at here are results after we've answered the questions the actual survey is about 180 questions and it's asking you about different types of things that you like to do at, uh, in terms of work um, once you've done this, you can read a little bit about the definitions of the different categories. You can see that, you know, the way we filled it out here for the Liberty Eagle, we would be considered an SIE um, Holland code, and then you know you could read further into what what each of those different codes means. We can also view a matching occupation list from here, and from this list, we can actually click on these careers. And we're going to do that in a second and show you what the career profiles look like. Um, on the on the Holland Code in Career Interest Profiler, they will show you careers by preparation. So they'll show you medium preparation careers, which which means um, you know maybe not a lot a ton of education needed after high school. Considerable preparation, which means you're certainly looking at a at a college degree here, um, all the way down to uh, extensive preparation, where you're probably looking at some type of a graduate degree um, to, to do one of those careers. So that's the career interest profiler. The other interest inventory that you want to look at is the personality type. Personality type um, is a different type of, uh, of survey where it asks you a number of different questions about, um, about yourself um, as well as different decisions that you might make in certain situations. And then again, here's a summary. So we've already completed the survey for this uh, fake student here. And it's going to give you what's called a Myers-Briggs co code and a pretty detailed summary of what of how it interprets your personality based on the way you answered the questions. It also gives you some information on your strengths and possible blind spots and the types of career or what types of things you may be looking for in a career for it to be satisfying. And then it'll again give you a list of careers here that you can look at based on how you answer the questions. So careers that they are suggesting for you uh, based on how you answered these questions. So let's go ahead and click on one of these careers now so you can see what a profile looks like. So if I look at computer hardware engineers, you'll see that we get a profile for this career. And the profiles include information, again, that's consistent for every career, so it's easy to compare one, one career to the next. Um, you can see that you'll get a short job description here. You'll actually get a Holland code, so if you completed that career interest profiler, You'll have a Holland code, and you can see if it matches with the career that you're looking at. You can see some related occupations, and these are all links to the profiles for those careers. You can take a look at college majors that you might need to consider um, for this type of career. You can also watch a short video, and usually the videos are a couple minutes long, and they'll give you sort of a visual about what that career looks like. You can see up here at the tabs, we've got knowledge and skills. This is information about what you might need to be good at for this career and some areas where you might want to you know, maybe take some classes in or at least have some knowledge in in order to, to start to step into this career field. Tasks and activities, now this is a much more detailed job description that, than what's on the overview and it will give you sort of a step-by-step -step kind of what you would expect to do throughout your day in this career. And then wages, everybody's always interested in the wages obviously. You can see what the average salary is, and it breaks it down by state. Um, and so it's a really nice tool there to get just a, a snapshot of what, what the salaries look like for a particular career. 
You can also click on a state. So if we click on Colorado, it'll sometimes break down areas of the state um, that you can look at as well. So again, a very nice tool here that we can use. Now, if you like this career, you can add it to your list, just like you can add colleges to your list. So if we add it to our list, then I can go back up to the careers tab at some point. I can look at favorite careers and clusters and you'll see that this career now has been added to my list as well as some career clusters that I can research further as well. So it's a nice way again of keeping a list for yourself, being able to go back and do more research if you want to and also so that I can see uh, the careers that are on your list as your counselor and can be a little more effective in working with you. Now you can also research careers by just going to explore careers and clusters and by doing this you can you see you can just type in a, a keyword you can look by alphabet there's thousands of careers in the database here so you have a lot of, uh, of information to go to you can also go to a particular career cluster um, and you can click on on one of these career clusters and and look at careers that way as well so if we look at a cluster then we can pull up and it'll give you some information about this this career cluster you can look at uh, some related careers here you can look at the types of uh, credentials you might need to look at some majors that you might consider um, and even a plan of study it'll show you some classes that you would probably want to take while you're in high school if you're if you're interested in this career field so the great thing again also about the careers is that it can really help you with your college search because if you start looking at careers first you can actually think about major and that's a big part of what you want to consider when you're looking at potential colleges. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, please come and see me. But uh, definitely log into your Naviance account and take advantage of the career tools that are available for you.